Without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. This quote was quoted by famous Indian writer and mental calculator, popularly known as human computer, Shakuntala Devi. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Namita's Hub. This is Namita Dargude, an expert abacus trainer, here for you again with lots of informative videos on abacus. Dear parents, you always search best for your child's development and students, you too search topics related to your goals and therefore you are here watching my videos which will surely benefit and fulfill your search. Dear parents and children, do keep watching my video till the end. And now, without letting the time go off, let's get started. Abacus has a rectangular shape. It is made up of wood or metal. And now in modern times, it is made up of plastics too. The rectangular frame of abacus is called outer frame. There is a horizontal beam in the middle of the abacus. This is also called as separator, divider, middle bar or answer bar. This horizontal beam is dividing the abacus into two parts, upper part and the lower part. On the middle bar, there are black or white dots and this middle dot is called a unit point. I had already mentioned the details of rods in my previous video. If you have not yet watched that video, the link is given below the description box. On these rods, there are movable beads. These beads play an important role in performing calculations. The beads on the upper part is also called heaven beads. There is only one bead on the upper part. It holds the value of 5 on the units point. Moving further towards the left hand side of the unit point, there is a tenth rod. And the value of this bead is 50. The value goes on increasing as we move further from unit points towards the left hand side of the unit point. For example, the value of this upper bead is 5, 50, 500, 5000 and so on. Now looking towards the lower parts of this abacus. The lower part has four beads and each bead holds the value of one. And this lower beads are also called earth beads. Moving towards the left of the unit point, the value of the lower beads will be 40 on the tenth rod. The value goes on increasing. As we move further from this unit points towards the left hand side of the unit rod. For example, the values on the unit point is 4, on the tenth rod it is 40, on the hundredth rod it will be 400, 4000, etc. The ratio of this Japanese abacus is 1 is to 4. The middle bar of this abacus which are usually called answer bar has a very important role. Now listen carefully. I am using two terms. First, moving the beads towards the answer bar and moving the bead away from the answer bar. When the beads 
are touching towards the answer bar it is plus and when it is moving away from the answer bar it is less or minus answer bar the name itself says that after calculating the remaining answer which is touching the answer bar is the final answer if there are no beads touching the answer bar then the value is zero there are no beads that will be touching this answer bar i will explain this if we add 5 and the 4 this is touching the answer bar we are taking this number 5 and this value 4 towards this answer bar and when we are subtracting or minusing the number we are moving the beads away from the answer bar and now you can see the value is zero there is nothing on this answer bar there are no beads touching this line these were some of the details of parts of abacus to know more about this japanese abacus keep watching my channel and also do like share comment and subscribe till then bye and take care